Okay, people, a few years back, if you remember, there was a bit of a controversy about a match I wrote about between me and Bill Daly. Uh, he claims that what I said wasn't quite completely true. Anyway, on tape, at Deer Park, we got... I apologize, you got me that I, uh, I didn't beat you for 8,000. You got it in your thing, Oh, right? I got my, in my books, yeah. Uh-huh. Well, you know we exaggerate a little oh, something I, I, like didn't, I didn't write anything in the book. <laughs> I told Lenny, I didn't, I didn't write anything back on the site. That, that, what you wrote was a great story. It's not that small. Right? I, I, thought, I, thought it, I thought it was good reading. <laughs> I, put, I, I, called it, I called it Cliff it, when, I, when I read the story. I said, right. Cliff, I said, I don't remember losing $8,000 in bowling. A single, and at the time, I, like I said, I wasn't bowling very well. And, right. and there's no way I would have gotten myself involved with something like that. Cliff says, let me tell you something, Billy. You lost 8,000 things. Because Cliff, me, Jeff, and Cliff were three-way partners right. on all of our monies. Yeah. So Cliff says, if you lost $8,000 in a singles match, I would remember that drunk. Right, right. So right. that's why I went in the book and looked it up. I have, I have books of every match I ever bowled from 1968 till 1985. That's beautiful. I got them right at home. Uh -huh. I live about half a mile from here. Yeah. But anyway, I know I was disappointed because I, I was hoping to get rich that night. You packed me in. <laughs> Actually, there was a night. I, there was four matches we were involved in, not just one. There was four. The, the week before, we bowled a doubles match. You and your friend Doug right. against me and Barry, and we beat you four down with, our, with my own pins, right, yeah. my heavy pins. Right. And then the following week, you did beat me three down. But I have uh, in my book minus three, uh, four hundred thirteen dollars, which times three right. would be twelve nine. Which uh, right. I always had lines involved in that, so I figure about lost about twelve fifty. That, which doesn't mean that more money wasn't lost on right. the outside. Oh yeah, right. But right. Uh, that's how much you know. But yeah, it's all there. But, it's, but like I say, the idea of me writing a letter to the site and and, and saying that this story is bullshit uh, is not in the spirit of the site. What you wrote, entertaining as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed reading it. That's well, that's the <laughs> Hey, well, you guys, you guys were action. You you made the game, especially you. Okay, people, Bill was right to a certain extent. Uh, I said I beat him for $8,000. Okay, I didn't beat him for $8,000, but what happened was uh, I got in touch with Doug just to verify this because he actually was handling the money. Uh, we bet 2000 the first game, 2500 the second game. We tied the third game, and we bet 3000 the fourth game, and we won all three games. Now, we didn't beat Bill Daly, and it's actually 7,500. We beat the crowd. We beat the back end. We won $7,500. So, you know, technically speaking right, I didn't beat Bill Daly. Bill Daly only lost like $1,500, $1,250, whatever it might be. All in all, you cannot say enough about Mr. Action Bill Daly. He's what it was all about for over 25 years. Nobody was ever even in his category. He brought it on to anybody. You wanted a match, you wanted a match for big money, Bill Daly was the man. <laughs> and he backed so many of the big ones, so many of the great ones.